Most people in America are familiar with the GLBTQ, allegedly now, program, right? Program of marketing. It's a program in which these people that have an alternative lifestyle to heterosexualism are being trying to, I guess, market themselves. The major issues I have with that marketing concept is its discrimination in reverse. As much as I understand that religious right people are very perverse about what is and isn't their right to comment on in the world. It is the perversity of those religious people, those leftist people, that have harmed people, actually killed people, abused people, sexually assaulted people, demoralized people, dehumanized people, and sexually trafficked people. They are too over preoccupied with people's parts and what those people do privately in the comfort of their own position, whether it's a home, a hotel room, a lodging of some kind, or outside someplace in a marvelous situation that is not their business. No one walks into those Christian people's homes, those Catholic people's homes, and demands to watch them have sex. See, pornography is actually something that is an abatement and an abolishment to the Lord. God is incredibly pissed off about people who do things that watch porn or produce porn. Sorry to tell people who are like me who don't really like to see porn what to say and what to think and what to feel. That is my rendered opinion based on what I see happens to a community that is obsessed with the parts of other people. You see, the privacy of the genitalia is what we're talking about. The privacy of people's genitalia is what we're squawking about. And the privacy of your genitalia versus my genitalia is completely what we're talking about. But you say, well, it's freedom of speech, Larry Flint, to deal with the producers. No, it's not. What it produces is an incredibly illegal view by people of all walks of life, even Christian men, who are apparently getting caught all the time with an interest in this, of their immoralness with regard to the human body outside the constraints of a one-on-one -on -one moral relationship.